stories that are both a delight to read and to hear. Do not read this book. Don't bother to read this strange book. Don't waste your time. Don't even look. It's not a story about a garden party, a fishing derby, or something at the top of a tree. It's not about a big rock or any missing socks. There are no monsters or even alligators hiding in the snow. It's not about kids with too many toes or all about ravens and crows. There are no clowns and nothing about a really foggy town. There isn't even a googly-eyed dog. This book is not a bit interesting, not at all. There's no dog trapped in another place, vanished without a trace. Just take another down from the bookcase. Don't even think you should read it anymore. This book is filled with just big snores. In the end, you'll still be feeling bored. Don't turn the page or you might get wet. I've warned you now, it's not just a threat. Hey, what did I say? I'm taking a shower, so just go away. It said, do not read this book, so don't turn the next page to look. There is nothing you need to read here. Wasn't that clear? What more must I explain? Why did you turn the page again? Yes, the water should always go down the drain. What's up with you? This isn't a book for you to read through. What is the trouble? All that is left are some little green bubbles. Isn't it plain to see? Just like the sign it says, Do not read. Were we not agreed? Can't you read? Go back now before it's too late. Don't even guess what's in the big crate. Why are you still reading this? Don't turn another page or you may be missed when you accidentally fall in some deep, dark abyss. Just stop right there. All that's here is a big empty chair. Why aren't you listening? Why won't you halt? Whatever happens next is really your fault. You are reading the book upside down. It's best that you turn it the other way around. Upside down or right side up, the message is still the same. When it goes wrong, only you are to blame. No one should ever look at this book. It's only a bunch of gobbledygook. Don't turn the page again. Don't even try. Why is there a goldfish swimming by? This isn't a book for fun. This isn't a book for anyone. You should have stopped reading before you began. Reading this book never was a good plan. What was inside that old tin can? This isn't a story with lessons to learn. There's nothing here for any concern. Don't pay any attention to that small forest fern. I'll bet you think storybooks are fun, no matter which ones you read. Some storybooks are like flowers, and this one is more like a weed. Don't turn the page again. Just give up now. That is an odd-looking milk cow. Now that you've read to page 13, how have you not understood what I mean? Don't even wonder why everything is green. Try not reading to page 14. You've done it again. Please don't turn to the next page. Is that an invisible bird in the cage? Close up the book and walk away. There's nothing more that I should need to say. What is that cloud that looks very gray? Okay, what the heck is going on here? I know that you know what we know is so clear. There's nothing unknown. Why won't you just leave it alone? This storybook is not about string or springs, castles or kings, playthings or even fairy wings. It isn't about anything. There's no more to see. Why aren't you even listening to me?
Okay, I give up. You're too smart for me. Watch out if you're afraid of stinging bees. Don't turn this page. There may be lots more. If you get stung, it could be really sore. You've wasted your time, even if it all rhymes. There is only one more page left to go. I told you so.